Hi, St. Pius, it's Miss Timothy. We're going to do another torn paper activity today. And this is for kindergarten through second, I would say. Um, so we're gonna start down here. We're gonna have a piece of white paper. This is plain computer paper. If you have colored paper, I'd like you to get brown or any other color, actually. Um, I don't have colored paper, you know that, so I colored mine in, and instead of using brown, I used this color, it's called gold. I think it's lovely. We're going to make a lion's mane torn paper image. So the lion's mane is what we're tearing, so that's why I colored it in gold. But your lion's mane could be rainbow colored if you wanted it to be. It could be any color you want. So the first thing we do is on our plain piece of paper, we have to draw the lion head and body. So I'm going to draw a kind of a little head towards the top of the paper. Just a round circle is fine. All right. But then I'm going to make kind of a big body because I, this is, this is half of a piece of computer paper and we're going to tear the strips of this to make the lion's mane and they're going to be pretty big, pretty long. So I'm going to make a big body. I'm going to take his, like his back here and make him really long. Lions with manes are the boy lions, so that's why I'm calling this a he. And then I'm going to take it and give him some big, long front paws here. And of course, a tail. Okay, let's give him a face while we're drawing. Lions are like big cats, so they have this great big upside down triangle for the nose right and that double u shaped mouth right with whiskers and we'll give them some eyeballs okay something simple like that you could give them nostrils if you wanted to right you could even give them ears So right now we have a female lion, but now we're going to make it a male lion. If we have a girl lion, we're going to make it a boy lion by giving it a mane, okay? So we have our lion drawn, and we have this piece of brown paper. If you have brown paper or if you colored into paper, cut it in half. This is a piece of computer paper, and I cut it in half to make the long strips. So now we're going to tear the paper, all right? We're going to tear it. It's at all these strips. Why do you have to move so much? <laughs> My camera girl's going up and down. Sorry for getting dizzy. So we're tearing it into these long strips. I think you want them to be a little skinnier than fatter. Okay. So you get lots of them. And then if you have your other half of your paper, you probably want to tear some more. Because it's all right, I did not do two halves. All right, okay, you pay attention here. So now what I wanna do is glue this mane around my lion's head. I, I just wanna put glue on the bottom, like on one little spot and glue it around. So the lion mane actually pops up off the page and kind of, um, like it even overlaps the edge of the page. I love it. <laughs> That's really long. So it might be a good idea. I'm going to tear some of these in half. <laughs> that was much longer than I thought. So, hey, maybe you don't need two halves of the paper. Let's tear these guys in half. I'm going to tear them all in half. I'm not cutting them. I'm tearing them because it's a torn paper project. All right. So those were extra. That would be an extra long main, which actually would be a lot of fun if you did that. Um. <laughs> so now I'm going to keep putting these on. I'm going to put them around the ear so the ear shows. Okay. Bless you. Thank you. And I'm still glue, put glue on one end, just one little dot of glue and gluing it on. I don't know what the cat is doing back there. Remember the mane goes all the way around the head. Right now, that just looks like a lot of hair. <laughs> Funny. 
goes all the way around. That's why we gave the line a nice long body. So you could still see the body past this long mane. Hey, my glue was traveling. So now I've gotten pretty much all the way around my head here. And what I'd love to see you do is then do some overlapping pieces of the, of the mane, right? To give it extra depth, extra texture. And if you have a multicolored mane, like I have some purple pieces in here, my, my lion is king, right? So give him some royal colors in his mane. You do not have to do this. I'm just doing this for fun, okay? All right. And the more you layer it up, the thicker and fuller that mane will seem. It's going to be a lot of fun. At least I think so. And it really is that easy. You have a really fun lion. Isn't it a fun lion? Oh my gosh, that's so much fun. And can you think of any other animal or thing? Thing. It doesn't have to be an animal that would be a torn paper um, finish like that. Like this is one I did for my sample. It's a flower. See, I got all, I tore the paper in as close to a triangle shape as I could. So that the petals look like triangles and then I glued it on. So there is your torn paper. I have a lion and a flower and you can try anything else. I would love to see what you do. And uh, it is a beautiful day outside. Very breezy and sunny, but it feels really good. So get outside, have fun, St. Pies, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.